will show you how to properly cover your canvas block so that you can preserve your investment and most importantly, you can disinfect it and sanitize it properly. You will need a tripod stand or one that attaches to your table, a canvas block, one gallon plastic bags. I prefer the bakery and food service bags. You will want clear tape and scissors, a few pins and a preferred paddle brush for smoothing at the end, a blow dryer that is powerful and has a high temperature. Wig blocks are made of wood, hard foam, or canvas material. The canvas material is usually filled with cork or sawdust. A canvas block is ideal for building a wig or styling it. Most professionals prefer to use a canvas block when pinning down their wig. This ensures that the fit is perfect for the wig wearer. You also want to make sure that you get the right size block. They come in many different shapes and sizes, just like the human head. Most wig stylists and wig makers would recommend not using a styrofoam head for styling or building of any kind. It is always suggested that you cover your canvas block so that you properly maintain your wig and you can effectively disinfect and sanitize the wig block in between uses. Next, I will show you how to cover your canvas block. Place your block on your stand. Make sure you know the difference between the front and the back. Some stylists like to use saran wrap, but I've noticed using a clear plastic bag streamlines the process and makes it nice and neat. Take your bag and pull it flush over the head. This is when you will want to utilize your pins and your tape. You will gather all the extra plastic towards the back of the head. When tightening the bag, make sure that there is no loose areas or gaps in your plastic. Now you will utilize the pins to lay down all the extra plastic on top and to smooth down the surface before taping. When laying down the first piece of tape, make sure you place it at the very top from ear to ear and be sure to remove all pins during the process. When placing the tape over the curved sections of the head, you're gonna utilize your scissors to essentially cut darts into the tape so that you can lay the tape down evenly around the curves. So when you're taping, be sure to bring everything to the side and follow the curvature of the head. Start in the back first, and then move to the front. Once the taping is done in the front and the back, you're gonna wanna go to each side of the head and do a few strips of tape from the top of the head to the base. This will ensure everything is safe and secure. Once you are all done taping everything down, go to the bottom and cut down all the excess tape and plastic. Now that the head is completely taped, you're gonna want your blow dryer and your paddle brush. First, you will take your paddle brush and press the back of the brush firmly to the head to smooth any bubbles. Then you will take the heat of the blow dryer up against the head. Use high heat, but move quickly so you don't melt the plastic. And that's one of the many ways you can cover your canvas block to protect it and be able to properly sanitize and disinfect it. If you want to learn more techniques and terminology regarding wig making and styling, please check out this marvelous book from Martha Ruskai and Allison Lowry, 
Wig Making and Styling, a complete guide for theater and film. We have a whole section regarding the care and maintenance of your wigs. A step-by-step -step on how to wash, as well as how to store your wigs. Be sure to always check your state and county regulations regarding disinfecting and sanitation. Thank you for joining us today.